The big game is almost upon us. Mark Malusis with you with the owner of Empire Automotive Group, Michael Brown. What's going on, Michael? How are you? All good, Moose. All yeah, good. all good. You had a winner championship Sunday, and now it's up to you. This is the last chance. Big game is set. Rams, Bengals, out in Los Angeles, and now it's up to you. What do you need to do? Go to empireauto.com slash pick, win, drive. Register. It's free. Who the hell doesn't want a car? We all want a car, right? You got an opportunity to win a Toyota Corolla. Michael makes a selection against the spread. We draw your name from amongst the winners this entire NFL season, and Michael's picked a lot of winners. If we select your name, you get a Toyota Corolla. Doesn't get any better than that. Let's do it. All right, Michael, before we get to the big game out in L.A., right, which is a couple Sundays from now, and we'll get your selection, uh, let's talk a little football. Number one, Giants. They have a new head coach, Brian Dayball. Yeah. Joe Ains, Joe Shane, both come over from the Buffalo Bills. What do you think of the Giants hire? I think it's great. I think they uh, these guys have proved they can win. They put together some really good things in Buffalo. They come together as a team. They already know each other. They've worked together. I don't think you're done seeing coaches from Buffalo migrate over to New York. I think you might see a few more stragglers come over. Uh, I like it. I like what they're doing, and I think Dayball uh, is going to come in here and and – we're going to find out what Daniel Jones has, right? And that's the big key is figuring out exactly yeah. what you have in Daniel Jones. So Giants have a new head coach. They've got a new general manager going in a new direction. How about your Jets? We've spent a lot of time talking about the Jets and z debating about Zach Wilson. Kind of love what Robert Sala had to say uh, on Tuesday about uh, the left tackle, Makai Becton, basically saying the job's not his. Maybe he'll be a right tackle. Maybe he'll have to compete for the right tackle position. Yeah, listen, that tells me that there's no confidence in Becton whatsoever, either about his weight or to stay on the field and stay healthy. One of the two is a problem, and I think Becton's days as a Jet could possibly be over. That would be amazing. I mean, you think yeah. about that. That was Joe Douglas's first big pick as a first-round yep. selection coming out of Louisville. Unbelievably talented. Unfortunately, uh, he's banged up all the time. Weight's an issue. Focus is an issue with yeah. Mekhi Becton. It's not about talent. You know that better than anybody looking at the NFL. When Becton plays and he's on that field, he plays. He's ferocious. He's a vicious guy. And you see him pancake people and throw people around. The problem is he doesn't stay on that field. And he's not prepared. I mean, he's just not healthy. So I think Salah is... is putting a stake in the ground right now to say, hey, listen, job number one is going to be to protect Wilson. He's got to develop, so we got to protect him. And he's just not sure that Becton's going to be there every Sunday for him. So Fant played well last year. I think they're going to go out in the draft and get another tackle. Yep. So I, I don't think this is over. And I think there might be, if, if, if he doesn't see something from Becton soon enough, you could see Becton traded. Uh, we'll see what happens when the Jets' offensive line development of Zach Wilson is going to be key year number two. All right, uh, for Wilson, that is. Uh, let's look at the big game. Stunningly yeah. enough, the Bengals are here, Michael. Incredible. I can't believe just it. Incredible. They could have lost to the Raiders, should have lost to the Titans, down 23-1-3 to the Chiefs on amazing. Championship Sunday. It's, amazing it's amazing that Joe Burrow and the Kansas City Chiefs and the, and the Cincinnati Bengals are here. Yeah, Burrow is one of the one of the greats this year, right? He's top three quarterback in the NFL the entire year. His future looks really bright, and what they've done for that city of Cincinnati is incredible. I, I, I do get a little concerned with this offensive line, though. I mean, listen, the Chiefs are not, uh, you know, killers when it comes to the. I know they have Chris Jones, but other than that, you know, the Bengals kept them in check for the most part. Burrow did play a couple Houdini roles there. He did. In the backfield. I don't think it's going to be that simple against the Rams, so I worry about that. But I, listen, you got to commend the Bengals for what they've done. Hey, they've been able, they got, they got there. Right, they, they got did, there, they got and, there. And it's a great narrative when you look at the big game storylines. The Rams were all in on this season; they basically mortgaged anything. I don't think Everything. they have a first round pick till, till 2024. And you look at the Bengals. Bengals hadn't won a playoff game in 31 years, yeah. and here they are winning three straight games: one at home, two on the road, to be in L.A. Just incredible, and and the pieces they added: Von Miller, and and listen, say what you want about uh, OBJ, uh, the guy has found his role yes. and I think found his calling and he's executing. He is just what this Rams offense needed. He is a compliment to Cup. He fit in that role. He played he played outstanding on Sunday. And I gotta tell you, uh, what he did after the game showed me that this guy's head is on straight. Yeah. I expect a big game out of him. And what's gonna be fun, Odell Beckham Jr. on media night. That's gonna oh, be fun. Yeah. Get oh, the yeah. popcorn. Get out. your popcorn. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Torello Showtime. 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 All right, uh, let's look at uh, let's get your pick, Michael, because you know we you, you won championship Sunday victorious there. Congratulations to Laura Sablik because you know what? She registered before championship Sunday. Yeah. Michael made the selection. He was correct. We drew Laura's name and you know what? Laura's got an opportunity to win a Toyota Corolla. So let's get the big game pick. Rams, Bengals, Rams are four-point favorites. Who do you like? 
Yeah, listen, I, I'm not big on this home game thing. Last week, if you saw it, San Francisco had 70% of the fans in those seats. So that's not an issue for me. What is an issue? Again, let's talk about the Rams' defense. They're poised to win. They're poised to win now. They've mortgaged everything. It's it's win or bust. Um, I think that's going to be the difference in the game. I think Burrow's going to get his chances, but more times than not, he's going to be under major duress. And you're cutting off a quarter to half of the field with Jalen Ramsey. This guy's the lockdown corner premier in the NFL. So you're doing that, and then you talk about the weapons on offense and a run game. Cam Akers is starting to feel himself. He is. I think there's enough there. I think Rams win going away. I really think, depending on how this game plays out, how close it is, I really think it's all about, as you mentioned, Michael, I think it's a great point, the Bengals' offensive line. If they protect Burrow, I think it could go either way this game. If they don't, you could look at it being a bloodletting for the Rams. 100%. I think over the next, what is it, 10, 12, 14 days, whatever it is, Aaron Donald's diet. Yeah. Breakfast, raw meat. <laughs> lunch, raw meat. Dinner, raw meat. Yeah. Repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat. I think they're in trouble. I think we all need to get on that Aaron Donald yeah. diet, right? Yeah. Raw meat all the time. All right. Rams minus four. That's Michael's big game selection. So now it's up to you. What do you need to do? Go to shopempireauto.com slash pick, win, drive. You know what? We're giving away a car, a Toyota Corolla. If Michael's selection is correct, and we draw your name, you have an opportunity, then we draw names from all the winners throughout the football season, an opportunity to Toyota Corolla at the end of the football season. Doesn't get any better than that. This is the last chance to get involved and win a Toyota Corolla, and uh, well, enjoy. And Michael, good luck to you. Thanks, Moose. You got it, and good luck to you.